Jeff Raspi here with you. It's a few minutes after 4 o'clock on a gorgeous Friday afternoon. And uh, I have actually got uh, some gorgeous people in the studio with me this afternoon. The last 55s. Let's see if uh, any of these microphones are picking you up. Hello. Yes, beautiful. There you are. Um, now, this, I, I already told you uh, when you got here, uh, told you off the air, we don't normally have bands in that we haven't actually played yet. But that's only because we didn't get the, the new EP until yesterday. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank, thank you for your faith. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're counting on the fact that uh, you're not a metal band. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, no, uh, there's no hip-hop breakdowns or anything like that. Okay. Uh, now, uh, it's probably become apparent already to our listeners that you're not from around here. No, no sir. <laughs> Dude, that's right. <laughs> they are. You guys are actually from, if if I've read correctly, from a place called Wiltshire, that's right. in England. Mystical Wiltshire, yeah. which happens to be one of my favorite places in the world. Really, it is. Ah, cool. um, I've I've seen uh, there, and I really wish I could remember the name of it now. There's a there was a really cool documentary on TV here uh, recently. Well, it was kind of about. The route that they're now thinking is how the monoliths got there, uh, yes. yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. and how the thousands of people moved these exactly. gigantic rocks, <laughs> hundreds of miles. Yeah, sailing it down a river, isn't it? Uh, I think that was part of it. Yeah, because I think they've figured out by looking at things that are in, under the ground by ex- excavating. Right. Yeah. They've seen evidence of okay, they must have had a camp here, and then and then they've mapped it out and figured out that they were following the river, God. and stuff like that. It's pretty wild. I mean, those things are like a hundred tons each, and there's like thirty of them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's I mean, aside from the fact that it's cool, yeah. <laughs> and you know, regardless of what it's there for. It's just the up heck? the road from where we live, which is because like, we used to work there at one point. The at Stonehenge. Yeah. Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> frightened tourists. <laughs> <laughs> we used to sing at them as well, yeah. <laughs> hey, you're on the oh, dear. Uh, now, the last 55s are here because they're going to be at the Saints tonight in Asbury Park. Yeah. Uh, one of our favorite venues in New Jersey, uh, right here on the Jersey Shore, the Saint in Asbury Park, uh, along with a couple of uh, local bands, Devil's Holiday and The Fave. Uh, let's see, doors are supposed to open at 7.30, it says. Um, and so now have you guys, well, actually, wait, I'll, I'll ask this after you play a song. Okay. How about that? <laughs> no okay. Now we're going to be nervous. So, so now, now <laughs> the audience will find out that we weren't taking too much of a chance in having you here without having played you before. Oh, because, because this will be beautiful. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. This is called I'm Not Yours.
Impossible. When you open a book, you can explore new lands, meet new friends, and discover new adventures. There are amazing possibilities when you open your mind to reading. You can log on to the Library of Congress website and let the journey begin. Fifty fives here on uh, ninety point five the night Brookdale Public Radio. They're going to be at the Saint tonight, and uh, I'll just say this: you should be too. Um, so now the question I was going to ask before I decided to make you play a song was: uh, you've been here for a little while now. Yeah, um, it not here at ninety point five the night here in the <laughs> states. <laughs> um, now is this is this a full fledged uh, cross country tour or? Uh, no. Not really. You're just uh, um, it's just a little east coast. Taking uh, yeah, taking California. Yeah, we did kind of yeah, in similar thing January, in January, so. didn't we? That well, that's probably uh, that was yeah, that was fun, yeah. that was probably better than doing a northeast tour in January. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although yeah. it, it did rain a lot, it made us feel right at home. <laughs> even in Hollywood, yeah, even it rained, Hollywood. Yeah, and yeah. it's very unusual. <laughs> Everyone was freaking out down there. Well, yeah, they would freak out. People, people wouldn't drive their cars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but my my question was, it was because uh, the album's not out here. No. Yet. No. Not yet. Um, do we know when? We're not sure. We're hoping. Without soon. looking at Louise behind me. As soon as we can. <laughs> right. I'm gonna say we're hoping as soon as possible. Okay. Otherwise, we'll have to just make another one. <laughs> <laughs> because um, I believe uh, the only thing I have, and I believe the only thing you're gonna have. For the people tonight is this uh, five-song EP, that's right, yeah. kind of thing. Which uh, I'm getting now. All five are going to be on the album. Oh yes, these are all five songs from the album. There's another seven. That yeah, and that, and that yeah. makes up the whole thing. But so that's something that people can pick up tonight. Absolutely, yeah, Absolutely. yeah, yeah. And we actually have, haven't uh, taken the time to introduce yourselves yet. But uh, left to right in your ster- in your uh, stereo speakers, there's uh, Stu, hey. also known as Stewie, yeah. <laughs> uh, Christy. <laughs> Louis, hi, and uh, Joey. <laughs> um, but uh, Christy and Louis happen to be twins. Mirror, mirror twins. image twins. Mirror image twins, which I guess are even rarer. I know, yeah. I than identical twins. Yeah, it's rare. It's all to do with the egg splitting. Just before <laughs> you can join, we, we can join. Yeah, we would, yeah, we would have been conjoined a rare in a few thing. seconds. Oh, really? Yeah. But the so. first one, the oldest, is always left-handed. Like that's me. <laughs> really? Yeah, the first yeah. one is always left-handed. That's interesting. It's and crazy. all of our organs, Julian told me today. I don't know well, if you're telling I, the I'm truth. I'm not sure if yours are. <laughs> <laughs> he's got X-ray eyes. Sometimes he's. I read that yeah, it can go as extreme as, as having like your, your appendix on opposite sides. Really? The doctors can be confounded when you have appendicitis. And can't find it. Yeah, it's like, you haven't even got one. Yeah. It's like, well, it's over here. So. Wow. Uh, it's fascinating stuff. Yeah. Okay, now I'm a little creeped out. <laughs> Frankly. Uh, you asked. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're freaks. That's what we want. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our circus. It's all, it's all part of that whole uh, Stonehenge crop circle there thing, isn't it? Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh-huh. But uh, I think uh, we've, we've stalled long enough for you to tune and yeah. play another tune for us from uh, the album Shine Like Gold, which is going to come out uh, someday. Yes. yes. Hopefully this year. <laughs> this year, this year yeah. Hopefully soon. Seriously. Yeah. Okay, so this is called Take My Hand.
Devin Parkins, and I'm from Franklin, New Jersey. I graduated from Franklin High School. Well, I'm an athlete, student athlete. I play for the basketball team. From what I hear, I have a good reputation of winning and you know, transferring from Middlesex. You know, and I also heard uh, that it's a good school, so I transfer here to better my education, also be a better athlete as well. To play basketball, I understand you have to you know, be on top of your schoolwork, so basketball basically motivates me to focus on my schoolwork. You know, that's what, if basketball doesn't work, I have something else to fall on as far as my education. I love my teachers. I have a, a great relationship with all my teachers. Every time you know, I need questions, I, I need, some, need help, I, I see them after class, and so I build a good relationship with my teachers. Basketball's been my dream since I was, you know, since I was a kid, but um, if basketball runs out, you know, I want to be a sociologist, be a social worker, work with young kids. I'm Devin, and you're watching Brookdale TV. And it's brand new music from The Last 55s, which I am trying really, really hard not to ask the obvious question. <laughs> we can tell you. If you okay. <laughs> the name of the band. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> which I really don't like to do ever, unless it really just has, uh, it's not hitting me at all what it what is. What happened was, um, we didn't have a band name. When we started making the record, we didn't have a band name. And we'd had a few suggestions and a few things came and went. And we just thought, ah, you know what, let's, let's delay that and, and we'll think about it after the record. And, and it just turned out that by coincidence, the, the record took exactly 55 days to make. Um, uh -huh. So really what you're hearing what is what we've been doing the what, last 55, 55 yeah. days. What have we been doing the last 55 days? And we're like, hang on, that's how we could use that, couldn't we? Surely. <laughs> Then, Makes as much sense as any other name, yeah. <laughs> uh, aside from, you know, actual personal names. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. Um, now, this this record taking 55 days to make, you actually got to make it in uh, uh, someplace else I've never been, but I've heard is unbelievably cool. Amazing. <laughs> Peter Gabriel's Real World Studios in Bath. It's really, beautiful. really beautiful. It's like it's an old, it's a 200-year-old water mill, uh, which they've converted. Um, it's a whole complex. And, uh, you know, it's just a beautiful place to be if you're a musician or, or anybody else, for that matter. So was, was uh, Mr. Gabriel yeah, there? I met him accidentally we actually three into times. Him a few times. Um, at first, I didn't recognise him. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awful, but I do know who he is, of course I do. And then... We ran into him three times, and he was really, really nice. Yeah. Really nice. Was, was, could he have been working on his current yeah, album yeah, at the same time? He was, yeah. Yeah, yeah wow. Just finishing up. Uh, a bit of that. His, his covers album. Yeah. The new stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like sneaky little yes. listen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, this, this new covers album of, of his is, is really interesting and kind of cool. And, and some of the choice is actually a little surprising. Like, how would he have even known who Bon Iver well, yeah, exactly. was and stuff like that? Exactly. We heard and we were lucky enough to hear the, uh, the his version of Heroes. The oh, yeah. yeah. And it's spine tingling in, in his private studio at the back of the complex as well. It was, ho, ho, ho. I'm not sure if he even knows we were in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> if you're listening, sorry. Yeah, it's funny. I'm, I'm actually really interested in hearing the companion piece to Peter Gabriel's new album, which is going to be all the people he covered right. covering him. Right. <laughs> deal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that? That was the deal they had. Yeah. 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 So that's, I'm really looking forward to hearing that one. Yes, indeed. Cool. Goodness. Uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again. There is just something remarkable about um, the way the same bloodline can sing a harmony. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's true. It's you guys uh, sort of sound like you might be, you know, separated at birth well, kind of thing. Yeah. 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 We, we, we have known so each close. other for a long time. Very <laughs> 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 We've worked together on quite a lot of things. Over, over well, that, I, that's what I was going to say. Because um, if, if you hadn't even ha had a name until the end of making this record, yeah. how long has the last 55s been a band? Maybe not the last 55s, but... Band. Oh, well... Um, you see, because because the girls' parents knew my parents, and I, I technically have known them all my life, I, I got a call, I think, six or seven years ago from their mum saying that the girls had been writing songs, and I had a little studio um, down in Salisbury. And, would you help them out? Well, would you do a yeah. demo? <laughs> yeah, 
would you like to do a, a couple of demos? And I said, sure, bring them over. So, I mean, this, going back five or six years, we've been putting together demos whenever there was time and, you know, just I'm always thinking it's great. And then suddenly we got to a point last year where we had so many of these demos and I just started listening to... I'd never really listened to them all in one one long line before, you know? I just had them in separate parts of the house on different CDs. Right, yeah, exactly. And, and I put them all on my iPod and listened to them in the car in one go and I thought... It's that's definitely an album. We need to. We just you know we need to get back into the studio and start from scratch again. But there's definitely an album structure there, and it's kind of great. And you know let's let's try and make it happen. So oh cool, we're we're gonna keep saying it's coming out soon until Louise hits me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not her decision when it comes out. Soon. 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 Okay. <laughs> the official word is soon. soon. It's shown like gold is a summer song. Yes. Yeah. So let's hope that. Let's hope. So that's the timing of it seems like a perfect thing. And uh, and uh, so how long are you going to be here in the States for this? When do we leave? We leave on, 13th. on the 13th. We leave on the 13th. Yeah. Oh, so next week. We should be yeah. back. For the nomcom in Philadelphia. Ah, that's right. The uh, the big AAA non commercial radio convention. That's yeah. the one. Excellent. Um, so uh, okay, so some of us will look forward to seeing you in uh, Philadelphia next month. Awesome. I think yes. it is. Yeah. Yes, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. well, it's less than a month away. It's really close. Actually, I oh, should really register for that. It may seem intimidating, but really, it's one of the easiest things you can ever do. I've been practicing. Good. You're gonna need it. <laughs> Help America's youth. Be a friend. Be a mentor. Just be there. Go to bigbrothersbigsisters.org. But uh, tonight at the St. Nasbury Park, beautiful downtown Asbury Park, uh, mere seconds away from the beach, and hopefully you guys get there in time to take a little side trek and Absolutely. see what's what's going on on the beach and totally. the boardwalk and stuff like that, because you can't come to Asbury Park and not do that. Well, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, you're actually going to play us uh, uh, something a little fun here. It's, a, it's an old Fleetwood Mac song yeah. on, on our way out. Uh, thank you, Last Fifty Fives, for being here. Thank you, Jen. And spending some time with us and playing some tunes for us. And we'll see some of you. Well, we'll see all of you. Oh, but yeah. we'll see some of you out there in Radioland at the Saint Tonight uh, Main Street in Asbury Park for the Last Fifty Fives, the Fave and Devil's Holiday. Doors open at 7.30 tonight at the Saint. Hopefully we'll see you there. And uh, thank you. Thank and you. I, I look forward to seeing you tonight and uh, maybe in Philadelphia. In a couple of weeks, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Jeff.
going 